Because Sonic Lost World, Sonic Generation, Sonic Colors, all those games are drastically different from the Adventure series, and it kind of seems weird that they got more simple and more cartoony and more bright, and then they suddenly just switched to Sonic Adventure. Like, Sonic Adventure 2 was one of the darkest games in the franchise, and it's kind of hard to think of Sonic going back to that again, after how he's been for the past couple years. Well, from what little predictions I did have, I couldn't have been more wrong. The next 3D Sonic game was announced, and the trailer looked like this. The game actually is taking what looks to be a much more darker tone than before, and surprise, Classic Sonic's back and playing that while this isn't Sonic Generations 2, it's probably going to take inspiration from it. Classic Sonic, I'll get to you later. For now, let me just say how happy I am for the kind of direction this game seems to be going in. It finally seems to have a more serious tone that we've been looking for in the franchise for so long. And look, Sonic's back in the city again, that's great! I don't care what reviewers say, for once Sonic isn't going back to his roots, and I love it! On the other hand, it was made by the same people who made Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations, and I wish I knew to what extent this reached out to, because if it's nearly the exact same team, same writers, directors, everything, I worry if they'll be able to pull off a game with a tone like this without it feeling off. Speaking of games, let me go off track a bit here and say I'm so happy they're releasing a brand new classic Sonic-like game alongside a new 3D Sonic game. A new pixel-style 2D- Ho. Oh. A new pixel-style- Ho. Oh. A new pixel style 2D Sonic game is what people have been asking for for years. A Sonic with a darker tone is something people have been asking for for years. I really hope these things are good so that every single reviewer can stop opening their videos with Sonic's games used to be good, but now they're bad. And while on the topic of Sonic in his heyday, it's... There's you. So can I ask an honest to god question? What exactly is the point in classic Sonic being here? I mean, it was cool in Generations because we haven't seen Classic Sonic in forever, his gameplay style has kind of been lost in that point in time. However, not only is Modern Sonic taking more inspiration from Classic Sonic than new ideas nowadays, and has been since 2010, we have Sonic Mania coming out, which is an all new Classic Sonic game. Why exactly do we need Classic Sonic back in a 3D game? Especially when there's a 2D game releasing in the same year. Especially when Sonic Generations is only a game apart from this one. Can't we just have a fully 3D Sonic game, please? We haven't had one in nearly a decade! It almost seems like they're doing this as an excuse to make Sonic the only playable character, while still making different gameplay styles. Like they're going out of their way to not make anyone other than Sonic playable. But that doesn't make sense. That definitely seems like something Nintendo would do, not Sega. They must understand the want for playable characters other than Sonic. Look at the Sonic Mania trailer, or how Aaron hyped up playing as Tails and Knuckles after it was done. How many of you guys, how many of you guys are excited that there's playable Tails and Knuckles too? <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> oh, great, great. Pretty much everybody. There's no way this is going over their head. So why then would they lead us to believe that these are going to be the only two people playable? If anything, Classic Sonic makes me less excited for this game. If it was someone like Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, anyone at this point, fucking Maria, I don't care. I just want someone else to be playable again. Maybe it's not fair for me to say this. We know next to nothing about this game, so they could very well do something unique with Classic Sonic, and there could be other playable characters too, and that'd be great. But if they do something unique with him, like put him in a 3D plane or give him a boost, then why would you bring back Classic Sonic? Classic Sonic is a character and gameplay style that has already been set and engraved, and if you change it up, you might as well just give it to another character. I don't know. Like I said, I could be wrong. I hope I am. I want this game to be good, I'm just worried. I mean, it'll probably be good, yeah, but I'm unsure if it'll pass colors or generations, and those games still leave a lot of room for improvement. But we'll just have to wait and see.